Governor McMaster and former Vice President Joe Biden are among the speakers planned for the senator's funeral, which happens tomorrow at the Citadel here in Charleston. Vice President Biden was actually Senator Holling's desk mate for 30 years in the U.S. Senate. Their friendship started when Senator Hollings endorsed the then 29-year-old Senate candidate. A month after the win, Hollings convinced him not to give up when Joe Biden's wife and daughter were killed tragically in a car accident. Vice President Biden often praised Senator Hollings, saying he lifted him when it mattered most. Their last appearance together was here in Charleston in 2017 when they attended the unveiling of Senator Holling's statue at the federal courthouse in downtown Charleston. You can find the latest news to coverage of the late Senator Ernest Hollings on air and online. Just go to our website, countonto.com, and click the Ernest Fritz Hollings tab at the top of the screen.